Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can perform some actions or events using Scene Builder. Okay, so we are going to create a new project. So go to File, New, Other, and in here in the JavaFX category, choose JavaFX project and click Next and give the name to your project. For example, JavaFX Test and click finish and you can see here your project is created so go inside your project and go inside the source folder and you can see here there is an application package and inside the application package we have uh, two files one is our main java file and second is application.css which we can use to give styles to our front-end design okay so this file we are going to use in the next video to give styles to our buttons or our widgets in javafx okay so don't delete this file now when you go to main.java file here you will see that to the scene this application.css is added using this line okay so for now i'm going to comment this or you don't even need to comment this uh, it will do nothing because we haven't provided any style to our css file okay so it's blank now so it will not affect our uh, program okay so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to do two things one is creating our fxml file and second is creating our controller class so go to your package which is called application by default and in here first of all we are going to create a fxml file so go to other and in here in the java fx category choose this new fxml document and name it for example i will name it as main okay and click finish so this is our fxml file right and you can see there is an anchor pane here now what i'm going to do is initially i want to give some size to uh, this anchor pane so there is a parameter or attribute called pref height and pref width so pref height is for height for example i want to give the height of 300 and pref width so pref and width and for example i want to give the width of 500 here okay so this will give the initial width and height to your anchor pane okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to application package once again and i'm going to create a new class which i will name it as main controller for example right and it will uh, be doing our all the controlling stuff like adding or uh, doing some mathematics or whatever controls we need okay so i will name it as main controller and i will click finish and it's going to create this main controller class here now inside this uh, class i'm going to add a function for example public method and i will name this method as for example generate random and the return type will be void okay so this function i'm going to use to generate some random number and display it on some label using a button so what i'm going to do here in our method i'm going to pass one argument which will be our action event okay so just use action event and be careful here there are two action events here one action event is for java.awt which we don't want we want the one which is from javafx event so be careful here just choose the javafx event and then give the name to your event for example event itself okay now inside this function what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, create a code to generate a random number so to generate a random number first we need to import a class called java.util.random 
and then we can create an object for this uh, random class for example random and object name we will we can give as rand is equal to new random and using this random object we can create a random number for example int my rand is equal to just use this uh, object called rand and call a method called next int and in here you can give the bound for example 50 so it will generate the random number below 50 and just add 1 here so it will generate the random number between 1 and 50 okay and now I'm going to use just sys out and just pass this random number there but for converting this uh, integer to string what we are going to do is we are going to call this uh, integer dot to string and pass this integer here because we need to convert our integer into the text okay now this is the function we want to call whenever we click some button so now it's a good time to open our scene builder so right click on your main.fxml file and open with scene builder just choose this option which says open with scene builder and it's going to open your main.fxml in this scene builder and you can see we have the initial size of uh, 500 by 300 and in here I will go to the controls and I will pick a button here and I'm going to pick a label also so I will just pick a label and transfer it here and I will resize this label like this okay now I will select the button and I will change the text of this uh, button as for example click me okay and for the label I will select this label and I will remove the text okay because I want to uh, show the random number on this label right now what we are going to do here is you can see on the left hand side at the bottom there is a category called controller so just expand this controller category which is at the bottom and in here you will see uh, this option called controller class so we have already created our controller class which is the main controller and if you open your uh, fxml file after creating this main controller class it will be uh, shown here in the controller class option so just uh, press this list box and you can see application dot main controller is listed here so just choose this option and this is our main controller class right because we have generated it here and after uh, creating this main controller class we have opened this so this main.fxml uh, is rendering our main.controller class now after setting our controller class what we are going to do is we are going to select our button from here and in here we will select on the right hand side the last option which says code okay and in the code there will be option called on action and in here we want to perform this action which we have created in the main controller class which is generate random okay so when you just click this uh, drop box you are going to see this method called generate random okay now if you don't see uh, this function and this class here just close your scene builder and save everything once again and once again open your main.fxml file using scene builder again okay and most probably it's going to show you your uh, main controller class and this function which is generate random now if you want you can give an id to your button for example i will give the id to my button as uh, click me itself now we are going to save everything so just click save button and just go to your eclipse ide and in here go to your main.java file 
and instead of using this border pane which was uh, the default code generated uh, by this Eclipse IDE for us I'm going to comment this code for now and instead of this I'm going to use the code which I have uh, shown you in the last video so just use this code which is a parent and name it as root is equal to fxml loader dot load and in the bracket just call get class dot get resource and inside the bracket just uh, show the location of your main.fxml file so because my main.fxml file is in my application package so I will just give the package name first and then slash main.fxml file something like this okay now you need to import this parent and uh, fxml loader classes so just import them first of all fxml loader and then second parent import it okay so now everything is ready so we are ready to run our program just save your code once and then run your code so just click this button to run your code and we can see this uh, click me button and when we click this button it's going to generate a random number and print it you can see here it generated the random number and printing on this console once again it's printing this random number again and again on our console right now to show this uh, random number on our label which we have provided on the scene builder what we are going to do is we are going to go to our main controller.java file here and in here we are going to create a label object so just call label and make it as private and give the name to your label for example my message okay and now what we are going to do is first of all import this label uh, class and now what we are going to do is we are going to go just above this uh, declaration of our label and we are going to add this line which says at the rate fxml and i'm going to tell you what it is but first of all uh, add this uh, package so import fxml and this what is this here is the annotation that tags a class or member as accessible to markup okay so it's a wire it's a kind of wire which will connect your uh, scene builder fxml file to your main controller okay so don't forget to give this flag here which says at the rate fxml okay just above your label declaration okay and now what we are going to do is we are going to take our label and then call a method on it inside this uh, generate random function which is set text so just use set text and then we will pass this code which is integer dot two string inside the bracket our random number which we have created and we will comment this code which we were printing on the console okay and save your code and once again copy this name from here and go to your scene builder and select your label here and go to code on the right hand side and in here you will see the fx id here okay so you just need to choose this from here okay so our label we have named it as my message you can see here and it's available on your uh, scene builder and just choose this as an id okay and now save everything once again and go to your eclipse ide and then go to your project and right click it and don't forget to refresh your project so right click and click this option which says refresh and what it's going to do is it's going to refresh your fxml and all your uh, java classes so that it can synchronize with your uh, scene builder okay so right click and refresh 
and then save everything and run your code and now your code is running so just click this click me and now it's generating the random number and it's showing it on the label here right so in this way you can use this uh, scene builder to perform some actions using your controller class and your fxml file in the next video i'm going to show you how to use this application.css file to pro provide some styling to your uh, widgets so i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment subscribe and bye for now